massive thank you to all of you for turning out this evening. Um, this is an incredibly short notice event. None of us knew we would be here this morning because none of us knew what was being proposed by, um, uh, and, uh, by Boris Johnson, who I refuse to call our Prime Minister. He has no mandate. He has no mandate. He has no right to be there. He has no majority in Parliament, as I suspect we're about to find out. Um, we have to stand up and say, this is not in our name. Our country cannot be treated in this way, and our democracy cannot be treated in this way. It must be stopped. Um, so I'm enormously grateful to all of you for coming along this evening, um, even though um, or I'm sure you all had other things planned, you all had other plans for this evening. This is really important, and the fact that there are people in this square, people in Parliament Square, people right across the country coming onto the streets and standing up and saying, this is not right, we have to stop this, really matters. So your being here is tremendously important, and thank you. <laughs> Says Brexit. Who voted for Brexit anyway? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was speaking to somebody this morning who voted for Brexit. I was speaking to a lady this morning who voted for Brexit. She said she voted for Brexit because she wanted money for the NHS. We have known since the first week after the referendum that that was a lie. And it was one of so many lies that have been told on the route to this potentially no deal Brexit. We were told there would never be no deal. We were told that everything would be easy. It was lies from the start and they are still lying. We have to stop them. So I'm, I'm enormously grateful that you've come. We have to have faith that our MPs will do all they can to the Remain MPs will do all they can to stop this. I, I, as, as somebody who is not in Westminster, I can't fix that. But what I can say is that the European Parliament is behind those of us who want to remain. The Europeans, tearing their hair out there though they may be, do not want the British to leave. They would love us to stay, but they need us to stay democratically. We cannot have this forced, we cannot be forced out democratically, but we have to remain democratically because standing up for democracy is a critical plank of what the European Union stands for. And that is why a people's vote is so important. I don't know how we're going to get there, whether we have to go via a general election or whether we can get it voted through in Parliament. But there has to be a second vote on the deal and on whether what people are offered is really what they were asking for when, they, when, in, when the first vote happened. Um, from the lady I was talking to this morning and from so many other people I've spoken to, I know there are people who voted to leave last time who bitterly regret that decision, who feel that they were lied to and let down. And we have to let those people vote again to say that actually the Brexit that, that, that we are doing and the Brexit, the, the impact that Brexit is having on our country is not what they wanted. We also have to get the message out there to people that the only way to stop Brexit is to remain. If we continue um, with whatever kind of deal, Brexit will continue to damage our politics and divide our country for years. We have to have a people's vote and we have to make sure that in that vote, people vote for Remain. Thank you so much for being here.